All right, so this is a divided by 13 FTR 37. I kind of wanted to try one of these for a long time, and we got one here. Uh, just trying to figure out if it's my thing. Um, it's purple. It looks cool. It sounds great. And I will tell you, I messed around a little bit with it just before I shot this video. Channel 1 is more of a Fender-y thing, I guess. Channel 2 is a little more British. I don't know. People talk about it being like AC-30. It's it's pretty, pretty heavy for an AC-30. But let's try this Channel 1. So here we go. Channel 1 with the, the volume pushed in just to clean. <laughs> volume down now a little bit and pull out the gain switch. <laughs> this uh, how would I get rid of this here we go let's try the last call the gain is out we'll just go for some rock and stuff turn that treble up a little bit <laughs> listen to this for a second I got to really listen uh, because because um, I can kind of hear the amp a little bit in the other room so things will sound like more more beefy and then you, you listen back and like oh it wasn't nearly as thick, thick as I thought so here's like fender cleans <laughs> The 
this uh, this is really nice right here this whole <laughs> Now here's the same channel with the Les Paul. And that's cool too, you know, it's it's got a smaller thing, you know. Um, let's go channel two. Uh, let's try channel two. I'm gonna go to that position two again. Let's with the dial all the way to the left, all the way down. That's pretty. Ooh, I don't really. I like the dial either down or one up. Here's, here's one up. Let's just start with it down. So here we go. Dials all the way on one, here's two. So let's listen to that real quick. Here's we'll go. We'll call this uh, channel two channel two um eh. we'll call it D2 or D1, dial one. Right? And then here's dial two. Two. Here's dial two. And here's dial one. It seems like it seems like there's more space in dial one. I kind of like dial one, and I'm not like a big fan of uh, of little Les Paul dial one. I'm not a big fan of like. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oops. Hey, I'll blow it up, Luca. I'm not a big fan of like fuzzy guitars and like congested guitars, unless that's like the sound you want for the part in the session. But um, I did hear on a lot of clips of this, it felt too like it was like, they were, like I did not like it when they were engaging that switch hazel. Like I, I'm just. Get me in. I'm not. I'm not the biggest fan of always jumping channels. Sometimes on a Marshall, it's cool, but I didn't care for it on the demos with this, and I definitely didn't like that boost on this personally. So, so here is Les Paul Dial One. Oh, sorry for that. Dial One. Operator error. Les Paul dial. Here's Les Paul dial one. And then we'll come here 
and we'll go uh, Les Paul Dial 2. Could work, but I, I lose his tone to me. This is dial one. I kind of like that better. Anyway, and this is one cabinet. This is an open back with a gold and a vintage 30, and it's got an SM7 on the gold instead of like a Royer, which I have usually, but I have other cabinets set up. So anyway, that's it. Um, yeah, I think this sounds great. You know, I wasn't sure, I'll be honest with you. You know, at first I was like, yeah, it, it seems cool, but. Honestly, that's mainly what I'd want it for. So now if I come here and I go into my 66 basement now we get to see how this it seems like it, it seems like and trust me being a session guitar player in Nashville <laughs> I've heard oh my god I've heard a few deluxe reverbs in my life but it almost seems like the divided by 13 has a little more of that pretty deluxe thing. And the basement is a little bit more, I don't know, it's just different. You know, it sounds a little bit, a little more raw, a little more, maybe a little more rock and roll. I don't know. Let's see. So here's my 66 basement with this in the position too. So now if I come here, it's through the same... Same cab, same everything. Uh, bass, men. First, just playing it that's that's where this the basement to me is kind of superior to the the deluxe because the deluxe is pretty or the the divided by 13 is pretty so here is um we'll just go to that second channel I guess I, I don't know do I even have a Les Paul yeah I do here here's the Les Paul with the divided by 13 <laughs> And now with the basement. Mm -hmm. 
and then divide and then basement or uh, Les Paul with the divided by 13 channel 2 I guess yeah <laughs> basement with the Les Paul yeah the, the basement that the basement's better at that to me but I kind of that's not really like crucial crucial it's more like the, the fender thing is more my thing anyway with this so here's the divided by 13 with the strat <laughs> You know, it's got a different kind of thing to it it's got like more of a gurk to it it doesn't clean up the same way it doesn't seem to have that headroom the, the one thing about the divided by 13 without pulling out that gain thing on the volume or whatever that is that thing stays pretty clean and I got it in here last night. We got back from North Carolina, and I had it. Man, I was cranking it. I was like, "Whoa, this thing was, it was, it was intense, man!" And I'm at half power, so I didn't notice. Let's try this. Let's try. Let's go back here, and we're gonna go divided by thirteen full full power. We're going to go full power. We're going full power. Uh, okay, there we go. So, whoop. Oh, wait. Let me go back to where I was. Here's full power with the... Rest. So here's half power. Full power. Let me do the same playing, I'm sorry. Here's back to full power. power and full power full power has a little more uh in it and I'm wondering now let me let me play this through and then I'm wondering if the Les Paul would have a little bit more uh with uh with full power so here we go Let me get my levels the same. So 
when we go back and forth. So I've been having to click around on the Neves a little bit. Yeah, so here's half power. drives the speakers differently half power I would probably opt for a half power on the cleans for sure personally so now we'll go back we'll go here we'll go Les Paul with with it in Let, let's let's go Les Paul out let's see about getting some crunch here uh. Like I can hear the guitar better with one. With, with once you get up above two or something, it feels like the amp is just the whole thing. So here is Les Paul. This is through channel one. And that's with it out. Or yeah, no, with it in, I think. Yeah, in, in. Here's the Les Paul at half power. Yeah, it's cool. I, I'm kind of confused right now. I'm sorry. Here is channel two now. Yeah, I don't know. Here's channel two with the Lost Paul. <laughs> Just go to the basement. Oh, I'm so confused by all this hoot nanny. Here's the basement with the last ball. And divided. Uh, it, you know, it's funny. You know that, and that's a marginal sound. I don't necessarily even ever need that sound. The Fender cleans is what I what I'm more after. And here's the half power on a divided. And then basement. It's, you know they're they're both nice, right? The basement's a little little more fangy. 
doesn't seem to clean up quite as much. I mean, I could have maybe turned it down lower. It was maybe around three. Uh, but that, you know, it'll get a little cleaner, but that's, you know, this is kind of the basement thing here, right? So basement, and then divided. It sounds more like a really nice deluxe reverb. Well, there you go. So, wow. It's been a morning of testing guitar amps because I'm like figuring out which what I'm going to keep, what I'm going to sell, what I think I need, what I think I don't need. Divided cleans half power. <laughs> Divided cleans full power. Yeah, it's got a little more spiky. I, I like it at half power. I mean, obviously, once it goes into the mix template, it, it'll get brightened up. You don't necessarily want it super bright when you track it. Basement. It's got that familiar gurky thing about it. And then here's again divided full power. That almost has a little bit more of like a basement thing because it's got more of that like quack to it, which is cool too. So you kind of can get both. Here's the divided full power. And here's the basement. The basement has a little bit smaller, musty thing going on, but. And here it is, man, divided. Yeah, I think it's nice. You know, and that's really been the, the decision for today. Like, what do I do? The basement is nice. But I think the divided is kind of more my thing. I don't know. You know, and you can't keep it all, man. First of all, I mean, obviously, this stuff's expensive. But also, I just don't have any room. So, think about it. What do you think?